Hey guys and welcome back. Duck season is almost upon us and for many places around the country it's already been going on. But here in South Carolina we got one week. Now I'm quite sure that you've been out scouting, you got your guns clean, you got plenty of shells, you got your calls, you got your decoys ready, got them lined up, checked your boat, checked your motor, everything's running perfect. But don't forget about your waders. Have you checked your waders lately? I'm gonna give you a very simple way, very easy, very simple, to check your waders to see if you've got any pinholes in them. And you can do this throughout the year if you need to. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do first is you're gonna get your waders and put them down on a flat surface. Uh, I got it on a bench here. Uh, you can do this anywhere, uh, tailgate of your truck or on the floor, it doesn't really matter. We're going to take a leaf blower, electric leaf blower, we're going to stick the one, the end, uh, nozzle in into one side of the waders, then take uh, zip ties or clamps and then uh, clamp off the other side. You're also going to need yourself a bottle, a spray bottle of soapy water, um, and then all you do is turn your leaf blower on, let it fill up with air. And as you can see, as soon as it gets filled up with air, take your soapy water spray bottle and then just start spraying uh, around the seams and you will come across, uh, if, if there's any, any breaks in the seams, you'll see uh, it'll start to bubble up. It's just kind of like a, like a car tire. Like they do it at the car dealer, at the tire dealerships. Uh, just spray that soapy water, let it bubble up, find out where you're, where it's at. Then all you do is just mark your spots and go back and repair them in a little bit. And as you can see, guys, I got a leak in the crotch of these waders. So very easy, very cheap way. I'm quite sure that everybody's got at least a leaf blower or got access to one. That way you don't have to put the waders on and go jump in a pool or go fill them up and uh, see where the leaks spring out and you know, fill them up with a water hose or try to climb into a bathtub. Then next thing we're gonna do is use your favorite, uh, your favorite sealant, whether it's uh, Aquaseal or the 2500, um, or any other product that you, that you like to use, you just go ahead and, 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 and seal it up. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Y'all take care, and we'll see y'all next time on Daddy Duck 365.